It's good to see you in my lair. That's not creepy at all. You were afraid to come in here as a kid. Okay, welcome to part three of Life is Strange 2, episode two. And, yeah, as you can see, we are in Beaver Creek, Oregon. We've been here for a week, apparently. Uh, we are at the grandparents' house of Sean and Daniel Diaz, who escaped from, well, they're on the run after their dad died in an accident. And, yeah, I guess we'll pick up from last time. And we'll see what's going on and what progression has been in the past week. It seems like they've settled in well, though, because I don't think these posters were here before. Oh, man. I could sleep all day long in this bed. Oh, but I'm white. That's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. And uh, Daniel is wanting to look through. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Wanted to look through uh, their mum's room. Uh, so I wonder if we're going to find out more about her in this episode. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Daniel is training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. I wonder if he's got any more like, uh, pine cones in the bag. Oh no, he's bought all this stuff from... What's this, like a dirty blanket? Old top. Crocodisc. The demon blonde doll. Space scuba and the canteen. And one that's spilled on the floor that he's not even bothered to pick up. Pajamas. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. It went quick for a month. And we have the dirty blanket. Pretty badass. And more canteen, and uh, pretty much everything, so we can put on our clothes, I guess. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. Yeah, sewing and cleaning that she'd have to do, which is probably why she wanted to throw them away. There was a nice frog underpants or whatever. Alright, I'm allowed to go out now. Alrighty then. Ooh. Sean! Finally! Okay, this Sean, is cool. Are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Mm, breakfast, I want food so much. <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got here. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the mum's room. I kinda of don't give a fuck. Kinda of don't right give a central. fuck. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Hmm. Yeah, and we don't want to like come across their like weird sex toys and stuff. That'd be awkward. Plenty of toilet roll. Oh man. Ooh, that was a nice sound effect of the, the face slapping there. I like that. Got a toothpaste, empty glass for what? I saw some teeth in there a few uh, nights okay. ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Stevens. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Whoa, that was a weird camera angle. Nice use of the frosted glass there. Uh, okay, medicine, towels. Grab bar, because they're old. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Okay, let's... Talk to these guys. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I that won't. That was cool how he kind of like 
react and move back rather than see some games where it's like if you're stuck on the floor or something and something moves in, you just like along so good. move across the floor without moving. Tano's like, definitely without the ideal grandson. The, the character actually moving. So much traffic in town. Like if you we move like a, a, a traffic cone yeah, or something and it just like kind of stays where it is, but it moves. Chief. Ooh, that's true. I know what I mean. Don't worry about it. it. It's weird. Sometimes I feel like we're complete strangers. It's pretty cool though how you made like a paper mache kind of hill or something. It's like sad and weird and cool. Like what happens if it breaks down behind the hills? Like are they easily detachable or what? These are the questions I need asking. But anyway, I guess we'd better go down for breakfast. Is this a kitchen or is this just like a kind of communal... Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I'm... Okay, nothing of interest. You can sit down, Sean. Aren't you hungry? Okay, cool, I've got a fish tank, but no fish. Which is pretty weird. Phone, stockings. So we're up to now, like, the 9th of December or something? Join for breakfast, yes please. Daniel, oh, yeah. breakfast time. Your brother is Some ready. Freshly squeezed OJ. Your Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. Well, they've got like the tiniest little deer head you've ever seen on the wall there as well. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. You're good. Didn't want to have to get up. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? I'm pretty sure there's like no yeah, one in the entire the world that asks that and actually wants what? someone to say, yes, of course you can help. Yep. Has you want to, to look friendly, but not actually have to do anything. Good. You get extra brownie no points for nothing. No trains in the kitchen, cool. remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Still got his red braces. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, sugar. She's in her own strength. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. So was it pancakes or eggs or what? She might have said I just wasn't listening. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. It's nice. We're going to be friendly and cordial. Yeah. We're not going to be a dick about it. It's nice it. to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It's a great place it for us to do safe. our dogging. Unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. on back there nothing oh and I thought Stephen was a fast eater hey grandma I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs okay cool he's asking about it. I told you there is nothing to see in it Daniel Maybe that's where they keep the dead bodies Why were you in it this morning then 
Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? We're going to find out a dark, hideous secret and we'll have to escape. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. Ooh. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Yeah, good point. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. Knock it down then. Brick it up. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. We are so going in there. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. I'd rather talk about Scrabble. You have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? She's getting a bit of an attitude. Of course. <sighs> Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Oh, I like I that. Better the, go uh, find the your microwave brother. kind of built into the, the shelf area thing. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. And one of them likes painting as well. Okay, so we'll be able to tell the date from this calendar. Or not, because they haven't crossed off the things. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Hmm. So, so Christmas decorations. I'm so glad to see you playing a outside charity like flyer. A well, anyway, I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. In a bottle. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. What bad guys? What do you mean? Her phone conversation Feeling sounds love. interesting, though. Passion, princess. Escape to pleasure? Man. Does Claire read all these? Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. So we've got a big-ass TV. Oh, is she done with the phone conversation? You're not the only one Karen hurt. Hey. Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? The lighting keeps changing kind of weird. Oh, we have... I don't know if we ever had, like, the option to move over to... What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach. But had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand. Keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. Oh, shut. Thanks. I'm trying my best. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh... He was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. 
He was Mexican. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Did you? I wish we would have. Some bridges you can't cross. I can only live with regrets now. Don't you worry. For the sympathy vote, typical old woman. You guys taking care of us is all he would have wanted. That's a very kind thing of you to say, Sean. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh, my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Well, it's not exactly forever, <laughs> is it? That's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. Leave. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. Okay, now she's being nice again. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about mm. all this. It's, it's fine, really. We don't have to. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Okay, it's not just me not being able to see it then. Okay, can we... Okay, we'll go up to Stephen, if I can find the stairs. Aww. You had a dog? Ooh, what's under here? Hmm. It might be in like a basement or something. Heaven? But I believe that kind of thing is like a pantry. See you tonight, buddy. Draw, draw, draw. Ooh, let's have a look through here. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but... Okay, so he's lazy with the I'm DIY. I'm a lazy old man. What is that hey, going to play uh, into? Someone's going to die Can you close the door? It's going gonna, it's gonna to fall over and land on... For a second. Oh. ...the old woman. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, uh, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. I, the holy gift or something. Uh, the holy gift. Yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She 
wouldn't understand. I guess he used to be like a fireman. Since he's got like she an She adores axe Daniel. And just wants wall. both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... You grassy old fart. This is your home now. <laughs> it's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. Okay, so you're being very diplomatic. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. In the middle of the snow. Yeah, break out the water slide. Yeah, be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess. And it's probably going to fall down when, as soon as we open the bloody door. No one knew. You old coot. It's good to see you in my lair. That's not creepy at all. You were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. All right, he is kind of creepy then, this old guy. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? No, this is a, a souvenir. Of one of my victims. I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. Claire told me you guys have been married for, 40 like, years. 40 years, so... It kind of makes sense. Ah, that sure was a long time ago, but uh, we stuck together, you know, through... Thick... It's kind of cool how they have cool. some like well, older conversation that I had with uh, Claire. But, uh, I think that's how marriage should be. Okay, what else we got to look at? Picture? Okay. Oh, God. you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. Oh, it's a it's mom. It's been a while I since see. I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I... Well, I, uh, God damn it, someone tell me what the fuck I she's understand. done. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't... Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Train catalog, exciting stuff. Stephen sure takes his hobby. You should get one of them like train simulator things. Although mm -hmm. apparently like four grand to get every train. Knowing him, he'd want to do that. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites, uh, but trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, and it's. It's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. It's weird how the uh, I know. touch pad is at the side rather than in the middle. That's kind of wacky. Uh, drawing. <clears throat> oh, man. Who did this? Oh, it was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. 
Uh, was not funny. Wow. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. Oh, That's awesome. Kahuna. Yeah, really great day. Ah, I wish you'd been here. All right, I guess we go leave the creepy man alone to his trains. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out hey. and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? No. Do you know how to work a washing machine? No. <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? No. They're in the bathroom basket. Totally. Yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Definitely. Ah. And remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. And for your own safety, no don't worries. be left in a room alone don't worry, with the Claire. old man. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! I'm busy! D busy my ass! Come over here! <laughs> Get over you gotta here! Jeez. <sighs> Alright, he's hiding in the closet. No. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Dear husband, if you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not mix whites and colors ever. Use one cup of detergent, brackets, red box for each load. If you wash my clothes, use the delicate cycle so you don't ruin any more of my clothes. Love, wife. Okay, well, we can see he's not behind the door, so. Might be in the pantry. No. Yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Put clothes in washing machine tidy room. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. Equals healthy, apparently. Try to fly over here, look at. Okay, so we might have to. Okay, we can tidy the book. Tried one of Claire's books but we yesterday. Can't tidy the pencils. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Can you imagine that? She's definitely the demographic. Nothing to tidy here, nothing to tidy here, aquarium's still there. Daniel's still hiding somewhere, he might be upstairs. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but <sighs> Claire can drop pretty damn good. Yeah, cool little raccoon there. Guess it runs in the family. And like an arrow pointing to a nose, that was kind of weird. What's this one? I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Beaver Creek. I get why they That's love their like town so much. Pictures they used. Like, look at that one compared to it's like kinda the. It's kind of cute. The block colors like that, that's kind of weird. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to look upstairs from then. Which is good, because we have to come up here to tidy or whatever shit anyway. Daniel seems so happy to be here. Good. What is that? <sighs> Gee. Don't know why crooked frames stress me out like this. Mm, that's kind of weird. I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the? Behind you! Yeah. Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. 
What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Yeah, sure. It's hot. <laughs> I know. He's Thanks. got magic powers, you can do it quickly. You'd think. Oh, it's buffering the pictures for the laundry. Easy peasy. Done. Whew. Can we go outside now? Yeah. Let me just throw our clothes in the machine and we're good. Okay, so it's this way and there. Easy enough. There we go. Wash the clothes. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. Okay, I thought we were going to have to, like, look at what she said and match uh, the stuff to it. We don't need the light on. And where's... Boring laundry. Daniel gone. Done. There he is. Time for fresh air. Alright, so I guess he's just hanging around so we can go outside. Get out. Okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Okay, so let's have a look around oh, here. It's pretty big. Man, finally! It feels so good to be outside. It reminds me of the It does cabin. look pretty nice, actually. Right? Oh. <laughs> ho! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Watch out for the pack. So that's the treehouse Stephen helped out with. Pretty awesome. Okay, so I know where this is leading, but I won't say anything. Well, I'm guessing where it's leading. This is a pretty cool crossover, actually. Feels so good to be safe at last. Hmm, there isn't actually much to do. I thought there was going to be like more to look at, but... Nope. Alright, let's look at what toys you've got in this shed, then. <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. <laughs> Sean, look! what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> well, Batman. Oh, man! I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Oh, yeah, because Dad's like an alcoholic or something. Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Mm. Oh, uh, 
yeah. There are grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh... Yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it... Really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? No, you... You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel... Remember that we're hiding out, so no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's say that's it for part three. And uh, I guess next time we'll see what happens more with the Reynolds. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.